Hey guys, it's Hannah. What is up? How are you? Back home for the holidays. So Mindy Kaling went to my school, went to Dartmouth, and she recently came out with a show called The Sex Lives of College Girls that is partially influenced by her college experience and also the college experience at Yale of her co-creator Justin Nobles. They drew on their own experiences and last winter when I was off, of course, they came to campus and did student interviews with different groups on campus to get the vibe of student life nowadays. So I thought it'd be super interesting to sit down and watch it and see how it actually compares to my college experience. And who knows, maybe Mindy even dropped some Easter eggs that we'll be able to pick up. So we're gonna watch season one, episode one on HBO Max for free, which is awesome because I don't have HBO Max right now, um, in just a minute. But first I wanna quickly talk about the sponsor of today's video, the lovely Anna Luisa. You guys know I talk about them all of the time. I love them, they're my favorite jewelry brand. Right now, I'm sporting a new pair of earrings from them. I think these are so cool. I was showing them to my mom earlier today and she was like, wow, those are so beautiful and so interesting. I got my seconds pierced a few months ago, so I've been trying to get more creative with how I can wear jewelry. And I love this new item on their collection in particular, because it's just like a little funky, a little fun. You know, it has personality. It's all one piece and there's multiple ways you can wear it. You can just let it dangle or you can kind of loop it through like I did. I think that's actually a really cool look. I kind of am obsessed with it. On the theme of double piercings, I just got this beautiful, beautiful piece. I love it so much. It's gorgeous. The only thing that I was a little disappointed by is that it only comes as a single, but I guess that's just Anna Luisa encouraging me to continue to get more creative with how I wear my jewelry. Like my eyebrows, not everything can be symmetrical. Also, I am currently wearing one of my Anna Luisa necklaces. I absolutely love this necklace. It is such, it is so, so, so easy for layering. It actually comes as one piece, so it's super easy to take off and put on. And it's just my go-to necklace nowadays because it looks like I'm putting an effort, but it's just one clip around my neck and it goes with everything. It goes with my outfits, it goes with my other Anna Luisa earrings, and, and it's absolutely become my go-to over the past few months. They have quirky jewelry, they have classic jewelry, they have anything that you're looking for. I'm a huge fan, definitely check out their collection. Right now I think they have a buy one get one 60% off sale, so if you're looking for any last minute holiday presents, I got you. They got you. Again, links in my description. Check them out. I know you'll love them. All right, now let's watch this pilot. Also, totally my bad, but um, the audio's not aw the awesomest on this recording, so bear with me. I'm sorry about that in advance. Okay. I can see your erection. Mom! Six, 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 six. I mean, Vermont, why is it even a state? Bunch of potheads making maple syrup. <laughs> Jake Tapper, how you doing, sweetheart? What am I commenting on today? Fun fact, Jake Tapper is actually a Dartmouth alum. Mindy, great start. I promise. No, I meant rich people. They can be a bad influence. Do you remember that Caleb Vickers boy? He was two grades above you. He got into Penn, met some rich friends, got addicted to cocaine, and got arrested. <laughs> Sounds about right. My baby girl is going to my alma mater. I'm telling you, after the next four Legacy. years, you're probably going to want to have sex with New England, too. Ah. We're Irish. Yeah, ah. there's an Indian restaurant in our town. Never been. You are? My daughter. Also, I will say, while well, our dorms are similar to this in terms of, like, the wood and the, like, old vibe, this is way bigger than anything I've ever seen at Dartmouth. I have always lived in crappy dorms, but, like, this is huge. Oh, bunch of great memories here. Also, I am noting that it says Essex College, not Essex University. Dartmouth is like the only major research university that goes by college, Dartmouth College. So that was intentional. Many students at Essex have student jobs. Who else has one? I guess perhaps it is just you here. Cool. Look for okay, that's a little different now. More than half of my school is on some sort of financial aid, or at least that's what the people who put out those numbers say. Not all of them have work study jobs, um, but I do know a lot of people who have jobs on campus. I do. So why did you all- This is definitely more Yale. Our dining halls do not look like this at all. Our dining halls are like brightly colored. Okay, we have one that's like maybe a little, but like, no. It's a big deal in the comedy world. A ton of writers on SNL got their start on the Catalan. Okay, so the Catalan is like, I think, equivalent of the jack-o'-lantern. 
which I don't I don't think there's like a big like Chaco to SNL pipeline, but it's like similar vibes, lots of satire. Rachel Dratch went to Dartmouth and she was on SNL for a long time. So like there's that connection. I don't know if she wrote for the Jacko, but I love the Jacko. It is hilarious. Yeah, I know. We both can say. Uh, shout out to the COVID-19 precaution poster in the background. Keeping with the times. <laughs> Welcome to the Catolan Prospective Writers Meeting. We're the co-editors. I'm Ryan. This is Eric. Okay, I will say the Jacko is like super cool and super awesome, but I don't think there are like auditions. And I showed up to a meeting once and was there and participated kind of. I actually don't know if I said anything, but yes. I don't know. Maybe I should ask my friends. Look, I just have to say, I come from a small town in Arizona and it's really exciting for me to have a black friend. No. Or is it no, American? I don't no, know. There no, no, what, what, what do you think? no, black is, is no, fine. Okay. no, so black. no, cool. and, and what's it like being black at no, 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 Really think so. Okay, also I'm just saying I don't like super mess around with this like real like a le legacy real money part of Dartmouth. Obviously like a little bit, but like that's not my circle, that's not my world. So like seems like this, maybe, I don't know. Like my sibling got rejected from Dartmouth. Watch that video here. Oh, here. Mad that my mom's not a crackhead? Yeah. Going through a lot. The fake part about this whole dynamic is that the cafe is not absolutely flooded with students 24 7. our line for our student cafe nowadays has like at least a 15 minute wait for a coffee i don't know if there are gonna be that many female spots female spot you haven't okay so this might sound like stupid but it's very very valid like i said i don't know if the jacko makes cuts but i know of many artistic groups that are very white male dominated and thought i could stay with you through the weekend this boy is at princeton okay they've mentioned princeton penn we have established that essex college is an ivy league school see you like look at the geography vermont who's in vermont we are what's going on bella traded sex for an opportunity just like men have been doing for centuries i flipped the script I'm not sure you did. Oh, <laughs> I love this character. You again. I don't know how I feel about her. Um, Molly Shannon didn't get SNL. Nah, bro, this would not be posted on a board. This would be a blitz or an email. On her first try, neither did Rachel Dratch, but eventually they all did. And Rachel Dratch! They just said Rachel Dratch. You heard it. I heard it. I'm sorry. And no pants should cost more than forty dollars. I agree, I girl. I agree with you, bitch. I agree. If you and your roommates are free tonight, so we're throwing funny. a party at Theta Pi Delta. Just stop by. Not Theta yeah. Pi Delta. Stop by. The yeah, use of optimism. <laughs> we're gonna That's go out. All right. This party doesn't even look that fun, but it's kind of making me wish I was at college right now. No, we don't have any of this. Not this song, not this song, not this song. I know this song from the 13 Another? Reasons Why soundtrack. Sure. It's depressing. Okay, that looks like the pilot. Uh, and we're back. Did I enjoy the show? Yes. Will I watch the rest of this season and next season? Probably, yes. Overall, I really enjoyed watching it. I thought it was entertaining. I don't think that it was like ridiculously outdated or anything but you know like it's a tv show it's obviously going to be more dramatic than real life right like when i'm on campus 50 percent of my time at least is spent in the classroom or studying it's way more boring than what we saw in this show like oh my god yeah i mean these freshmen are very extroverted and brave but when you look behind all of, you know the stuff that's in there for dramatic effect. You know, you look at the concepts, the competition, the personalities, all that, it's pretty, it's pretty much there. Like, I see a lot of those themes play out on campus. 
I'm also kind of on a high because I really was obsessed with all those like alumni like name droppings all like the little like Dartmouthy things Mindy put in there that I could relate to. So consider me a biased reviewer, whatever. But again, I enjoyed the show. It's a comedy, so you know, take it for what it is. It, I wouldn't call it as accurate a depiction as like a show that takes place at a different elite New England university, like Dear White People, for example, but that shows a drama and this one's a comedy, so it's really hard to compare them. I know a little bit about what goes on in the rest of the season just from what I've seen on like Instagram and TikTok and there are certain episodes that I am very much looking forward to watch. They just hit on my experiences just like a little too closely. A little like how is she allowed to say those things and not get flagged? I don't know but I am very much looking forward to watching it over the next few days and Mindy, Mindy Kaling, if for some reason you are watching me say these words right now. Um, great work, big fan. Wish I got to meet you last year. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the show, if you're watching it, if you're planning on watching it, why or why not, and maybe what character you relate to the most. Right now, I think I'm seeing parts of myself in Kimberly and Whitney. I'm really interested to see how the characters develop over the next few episodes, so I'm gonna go do that. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Please give me a like and subscribe. I would so, 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 so much appreciate it. It would mean the world. So yeah, I will see you next time. Again, I'm Hannah. Bye.